The MW Mixing Studios are comprehensive tabletop solutions for everyone from a recording solo musician to a touring band. Simply add your own choice of computer and you have an amalgamated hardware and software environment that lets you coordinate your sound sources and then use the world's leading cross-platform DAW to process, record and master your music. Music can be generated in many ways, from playing a number of different instruments yourself, collaborating and communicating with other musicians digitally over the internet, to working with a band or group in a live situation with players playing in the same room. The MW10 and 12 can be the front end for all of these scenarios. The MW10 has 10 inputs, including four ultra-low noise mic preamps with phantom power option. You can use balanced XLR or quarter-inch connectors for your instruments and mics, Plus, you can plug in additional sound sources, like a CD player, via the RCA connectors. And add additional outboard gear, such as a compressor or limiter, via the insert IOs. There are two single-channel inputs, plus four stereo inputs. Each channel offers 3-band EQ and 80Hz high-pass filter to curb background rumble that can so often be a problem when recording in a non-soundproof studio environment. Each channel has two auxiliary buses one switchable pre- or post-fader, to handle either additional outboard processors like a reverb unit or create separate monitor mixes. Pan and level controls complete the channel strip. Whether you're working by yourself, recording each instrument separately, or working with several other musicians live, the combined inputs are sent out to Cubase LE via the USB as a summed stereo pair. You can keep an eye on your levels, plus adjust your headphone mix and levels, all from one easy-to-view panel. The MW12 takes this basic complement of features and adds an additional two input channels and two mic preamps. In place of knobs, the MW12 provides long throw faders, plus there is greater flexibility in terms of groups and auxiliary sounds. Very importantly, the MW12 also lets you monitor in real time through Cubase LE. For instance, you can send a guitar from the MW into Cubase, process it within Cubase using an effects plugin, and be able to hear that process signal in real time as you play. Set the two-track in USB button to CR, control room. The control room phone's knob then controls your overall level being sent to your speakers via the control room outputs at the back. And the two-track in USB knob then controls the level of process signal coming back from Cubase. Because the MW10 and 12 are not only normal mixers, but also act as a front end for your computer, you need to be clear as to which controls are in charge of the various stages along both of your analog and digital signal path in order to hear and record everything cleanly. Instruments and mics plug into your choice of balanced XLR or quarter inch jacks. If you're using the MWs without using a computer, just set a good level on your input channels, i.e. the clip LED not being illuminated, and make sure you maintain a level of around 0 dB on your master meters. The stereo out knob on the MW10 and the stereo fader on the MW12 controls this level. On the MW10, the stereo out knob also controls the level of signal being sent to the computer via USB. When working with your computer, you also need to make sure that your Windows mixer volume is always kept at 100%. If you just want to say, turn down the monitoring level, make sure you do this on the MW, not on your computer. Some laptops may offer an actual volume button, but even here, you do need to make sure that this remains set to maximum and that any adjustments to your monitoring levels are done on the MW. If your computer audio levels are controlled in the software, similarly, keep your Windows mixer main volume at 100%. USB audio codec in Windows sounds and audio devices is the default driver for the MW. 